Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win $200, you can do that by liking, subscribing to all YouTube channels linked in the description of this video, as well as commenting, blessing. I hope everybody's doing well and vibing high. I just had baby Luna outside and I got some fresh air and let the sun beat down on my face and thank the divine for all the beautiful things I have in my life. I'm being called to tell you that for a reason. Anything I say to you in this reading is because I'm being called through my intuition through, through messages that I am receiving. Some of you need to show more gratitude for your life, even the lessons. Remember, everything is always happening for your highest good. Everything is always happening for you, sweetheart, not to you. Um, remind yourself of that when you start to feel as if um, your life is, is, is hard or nothing works out for you. Maybe it is just a sign that you need to pivot and start going in a new direction. We are going to get some messages from your guides, from your angels. What is it that you need to know? What is it they want you to know? What, what, what do the angels have to say to Scorpio today, spirit? What messages do the angels have for Scorpio today? Prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring, fulfilling life. Help me feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. Your angels want you to know that they are always walking beside you. Spirit wants you to know that you are never alone pray pray to be shown the way if you're going through some some tough times right now and you're trying to figure out which direction to go continue to pray but when you receive the answer believe it sometimes we will pray for clarity we will pray to be shown something and then we're shown and we don't make any decisions or choices anyway or we don't want to believe it creativity we, your angelic messengers, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within to express your true essence you're being guided here to work on your creativity open up your sacral some of you may have some block chakras that you need to work on if you feel like your creativity stumped you know get a coloring book with bright crayons get something that that you can start creating get a little craft start crafting the more you do that the more creative you will feel i've been drawing and coloring with with like mixed media i'm actually drawing um the high priestess i'll show it to you when i'm done um, I had to start over because I really jacked the moon up, but it was really fun. I sat on Sunday for an hour and a half, just watched the tube and, uh, and drew and, and it just felt really good to relax and not think about anything and just allow my mind to be at rest. Angel of unconditional love, relationship repair, heals broken hearts, tenderness, family unity, restores harmony. I foster harmonious relationships by filling hearts with compassion and love. I also help soulmates reunite. There could be something going on around the new moon. You may want to pray to this, this archangel, Samel. You could be 28. Something could happen in 28 days. You may want to pray to this angel. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, so I will put it right there. Um, this angel is here helping you heal your broken heart, Scorpio. Perhaps bringing a, a new soul connection into you. 
We have many soul connections here on planet Earth. If you had a breakup with someone you look at as a soulmate, it doesn't mean that you'll never meet anybody else that you have a strong connection with here. Some soulmates are in our life for a reason, for a season. Um, we have nine other people on planet Earth from our soul family. You have a lot of different options. Archangel of work and competence, purpose, motivated new ideas projects experience i will help you with your projects choosing a vocation or when you feel overwhelmed with work don't procrastinate something could happen in the spring if you're feeling overwhelmed with work you may want to pray to this archangel um, i see exactly what's happening with whoever i am channeling you could be going through a breakup and it's making you feel overwhelmed with work it's making you feel overwhelmed with everything in your life because your heart hurts our love life will always affect our money because it affects our vibration some of you notice that when someone comes into your life, everything starts to fall apart. Nothing goes right. It's always this. It's always that. You lose your job or your car breaks down or something happens. And then they leave and you start to um, regain strength and things start getting back together. Some of you could notice the opposite. There's some new ideas, some project that you've been wanting to work on, but you've been dealing with heartache and, and it's been hard to focus when you're when you're in pain or you're sad and you're depressed. It's hard to get through your regular day, let alone um, start, you know, all sorts of new things. So it may be important for you to heal your heart right now, Scorp, and then move on to to um, some new projects. Some of you use work to help you. Your work helps you heal. It helps you move on. It's helping you um, to process this breakup or whatever it happened here. The vibration of magic and the vibration of delight. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create experiences, feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we have invoke in others. Understand that your vibration affects everybody. You may want to work on your solar plexus or your sacral. Like I said, some of you have something going on with a blocked sacral. You don't feel attractive. You don't feel turned on. You feel like your creativity is stomped. That's how you'll know if your sacral is blocked. Just do a visualization of a orange spinning orb right up underneath your belly and above your in your pelvic area spinning and churning and all the dark energy coming up out of it. Do that for 10 minutes a day. I, I work on um, a different chakra every week. I pull one of my cards for the week to see which which chakra I need to work on. Last week, I was working on uh, my heart chakra. This week, I just started yesterday doing solar plexus chakra meditations and visualizations. I do it every seven days, and I just repeat it out. Um, because I feel we're always in need of energy healing. Energy healing has changed my life. I can't prove it to anybody, but I feel better physically now than I did when I was 20. I have herniated disc. I have some other issues. I was a stylist for 20 years. I stood in heels. I stood in shoes that I shouldn't just because they looked cute, and I really jacked my back up. I feel better than ever. And so some of you need to start doing some energy healing. You, you would be surprised on how much better you would feel if you balance out your energy centers. We are all energy. Everything is energy. And, and stuck energy can really create a lot of sickness and pain and disease. The frequency of magic supports our ability to grow and expand beyond the moment to move towards possibilities and expressions that are grand and profound all that is required is our belief in their manifestation crown chakra here you may want to um, do a visualization of a white beam of light coming directly down into your crown chakra your the divine is asking you to believe in miracles believe that your thoughts are creating your reality you can do um, a little, you know, manifestation technique and, and when it comes in, you have to believe it. 
If you don't believe that your thoughts create your reality, Scorpio, think about this. If everything sucks in your life and you're always negative, well, you're a good manifester. I realized how great of a manifester I was um, when I started studying vibration and energy about 11 years ago because um, my thoughts were so poor and so was my life. My, my thoughts were so negative and woe is me and so was my life and it dawned on me I'm a really good manifester my thoughts were creating my reality it was always something it was always me nothing ever worked out for me and nothing ever did so if you don't believe your thoughts are creating your reality your feelings are creating your reality you may want to um, practice Practice um, trying to feel good and see if something changes. Practice, you know, manifesting an extra $20 and see if you can do it. I used to do it all the time when I was a stylist. I would um, work on uh, visualizing, receiving, you know, a $100 tip. And you could be sure as shit by the end of the week, maybe I would have, um, you know, maybe it was two fifty dollar tips maybe it was a hundred and fifty dollars maybe it was a hundred dollars but i always manifested it once i got good at having a unwavering faith and aligning with it river of blessings releasing and constraints courage strength fierceness grateful optimism joyous view of the future again with optimism and gratefulness you could be 51, you could be 54, you could have a two-year-old grandchild, you could have a two-year-old, a 17-year-old, something could happen between two and 17 days. The divine wants you to know that your thoughts are creating your reality. And if you raise your vibration here and allow your heart to heal, there is a river of blessings coming in. But what you put out, you do get back. So if you are not showing gratitude um, for the things that you already have, Scorpio, and you're focused on the negative, well, you're just going to receive more of that. When you focus on love and light, when you focus on being grateful for the device you are watching this on for the electric that that you know the lights in your house they're all blessings even though they don't seem it there are some people that do not have electric there are some people who do not have a device or internet to watch anything on and so the the small the things that seem so small in life are actually blessings and getting grateful for what you do have right now is going to be very important because you're being sent healing energy you're in the process of healing eliminating any bad energy from your life unfolding beauty everything is unfolding as it should surrender and live in the unexpected and wealth of knowledge connect to the knowledge in your soul teach and help the world a lot of you are being sent a lot of healing energy the divine is sending you a lot of light right now a lot of warmth trying to help you heal trying to help you heal your broken heart perhaps childhood trauma for some of you there's a wealth of knowledge being sent down to you you may find that you start to know something about a subject that you didn't realize, like you, you don't even know how, how you know it, something like this. Go outside. You have been indoors for too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. As I said, everything I say to you in a reading is on purpose. Everything I say to you is because I'm being nudged by my intuition or messages. I was being guided to talk to you about going outside with Luna. And I feel like some of you need to get outside and breathe in that beautiful fresh air. Really connect, ground yourself with Mother Earth. Getting outside and breathing in the fresh air right now will be really helpful to you. Cycles and rhythms and the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. Honor the cycle of your body, energy level, and emotions. You're going through ups and downs. You're, you're, you're feeling good. You're feeling bad. That is normal. You'll have good days. You'll have bad days. 
if you have a bad day that doesn't mean you're going to fall back down altogether tell me what these river of blessings are please somebody here could um have some kind of leopard print coffee mug or blanket or something like that mb could mean something to you a lot of you are going through, um, wow, look at this beautiful double aces in the world. You're going through closures. You're going through completions. You're being given messages, a lot of clarity. Your heart chakra opening back up. You may be ready to get out there and date again. You may be feeling stronger. The divine has been sending you healing energy. All of your hard work is about to be rewarded. Um, a very honest, truthful job that you love, career that you adore, a new soulmate. Tell me about that new soulmate, please. Tell me about new soulmate energy. Um, you're being sent somebody new so you can experience um, f fulfillment. Yeah, it's because three of swords here. You've been betrayed. You've been hurt. You've been on your knees. Some of you... Oh boy, somebody has done a number on you, Scorpio, and the divine has been trying to help heal your heart. Please put prayer in the comment section, and I will pray for you that you can see yourself out of this pain. Spirit is sending you healing messages. There's a new lover possibly coming in for those that are ready. A earth sign, somebody that's very loving, very grounded. But you got to get out of this nine of swords, three of swords energy. You may not be sleeping. You're not, you just feel so heavy in your energy. You feel lost, heartbroke. I'm feeling what I feel since I've started in on this energy is like just in the pit of my stomach. Like this heaviness. Um, I feel like you're just waking up every morning and your mind's on repeat. You're trying so hard to move forward, but you're so hurt. You feel like you meant nothing to someone. They could have discarded you. And, and Scorpio, just know that, have you ever thought that maybe it's for your protection? Maybe it's because you deserve better. Maybe it was time to move forward, but you just didn't want to admit it. Most of the time when somebody leaves us, cheats on us, hurts us, it's not without red flags. Maybe you were not looking at the red flags. You didn't want to see them and spirit had to step in. Whatever the case is, you are being given a lot of healing energy here. Stay in the present moment. Focus on being right here in the day. Don't panic about tomorrow and, and yesterday has already happened. When you're going through this much pain, you have to take things step by step, day by day. I know pain in every form. I've been here. I've been on my knees. So I'm coming from knowing. What is it that Scorpio needs to know about love, please? Somebody is uh, watching you secretly. There's a lot of indecision. There's someone hiding some aspects of their self. If you've just met somebody new, you may want to make sure you get to know this person before you make any major decisions. You've been going through a passage in life. Your life is spiraling out of control. Oh, God. Some of you, you're, you're going back and forth with a lover who treats you very bad. And every time you're more hurt, you feel more let down. This person hides aspects of their self. The divine wants you to see this clearly. You may want to work with lavender, spray some lavender on your pillow at night, put some lavender. I, I put it in my vaporizer. Lavender also helps open your third eye so you can see clear. What you doing, Cookie? Why are you crying out there? Baby Tuna's crying too. Everybody's sad, huh, Luna? There could be somebody new coming in, but you could have someone else that has toxic addictions, that overindulges, that has a lot of temptation. This person doesn't seem to be well. 
There's someone around you. You may be taking in their energy. Start visualizing yourself in a white bubble of light. Cleanse your energy. You may want to get one of the cleansing ritual kits off my, my menu. I've been getting a lot of great reviews from it. Reorganizing your life, masking or covering true feelings, an abrupt ending. Somebody here um, ended it with you very quickly because they were hiding something about their self in their life and you were starting to see it. Others, you could have found out that this person was overindulging um, with drugs, alcohol, sex, a third party. You've been going through a passage. Tell me about this person that has toxic addictions. What does Scorpio need to know about them? Why is that coming out, please? You're being asked to celebrate the things you love, the people you love, the good things in your life. There's some secret admirer. This You may not even know this person. It looks like you have um, been waiting for them. Very angry. In this angry energy. Feeling rejected. You're losing patience. You're about to hit a breaking point. Tell me about the secret admirer. Some of you have somebody around you. Yeah, you're really guarded. You're very leery. You're, you're not ready to start dating yet, but there's someone around you who is admiring you. They find you so attractive, Scorpio. They feel very drawn to you. They feel as if they're being drawn to you. It's a soulmate. It's a soul connection. There's someone in in your uh, friends group online or in your friend group or that see you in the community or perhaps at work that is secretly admiring you. But you've had so much drama, upheaval and conflict that you're really guarded. Spirit's letting you know that there's a new soulmate trying to manifest in and it's there when you want it. You may feel like you've lost control. Some of you feel like someone's done spell work on you. The truth is spell work is manipulation and lies. And um, you, you most likely are under some kind of spell work. Somebody could be sending dark energy to you. That doesn't mean you have to allow it to affect you. Cleanse out your energy and visualize yourself. Regain control of your thoughts. What does Scorpio need to know about their love life, please? Tuna. Yeah, there's some gossip, slander. There's big changes coming, though, love. A lot of clarity, and you're headed in to a new phase. There could be some gossip happening right now. You could hear some gossip about this lover that has toxic addictions. Some of you are about to go meet somebody new and take a road trip or if you're um, planning some kind of long weekend or something like this, you may meet somebody new that's a soulmate. If there's some party or event you've been planning or getting ready for, there's you could possibly meet a new soul connection there. Tell me about this person that has toxic addictions. What do they plan to do? What does Scorpio need to know about them? Why, why is this coming out? They're about to text or call you. But they have some hidden intentions. They're about to reach out. Spirit's giving you a heads up. Some of you, this person's dangerous for your mental health. They're dangerous for you. They have some hidden intentions and secret feelings. They could be the one watching. And the divine wants you to know so you're ready. You may want to have a text message ready and armed. Some of you, you may not even read it. Those that are ready to move on, I'm getting a message that you're not even going to read it. You're, you're going to, you, you might have them blocked actually. You may have already received a message from them and you're not even realizing it because you're moving forward. You're tired of being in this cycle of pain. They want to they wanna, uh, tempt you, Scorpio. Tell me about those Scorpios that, that the angels are sending them a new soulmate, please. Those Scorpios... <clears throat> you, yeah, exactly. You've been in your own little world here. 
because you've been manipulated by this person for so long, you may not be seeing things clearly. You may not be seeing what's right in front of you. There could be someone around you that is going out of their way to try to show you that they care or that they're interested, but you're kind of in your own little bubble right now. Four of Wands in reverse, you're definitely going through a divorce. Some of you are actually in litigation right now or you're getting ready to finalize your divorce. This person has been manipulative. What are they going to do? You're moving forward. Could be dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, an Aquarius. This person is trapped in a mental prison. They feel bound, stuck to their circumstances. They feel that they owe you. They could owe you a lot of money. Or they owe you an apology and, and they know it. But they're stuck in this toxic um, place of overindulging. It's somebody from your past or someone you have children with. This person is fearful. They walked away from you. They know you're waiting. They can feel you losing patience. Some of you, they know you're waiting for them to change, to chase you, but they're scared and they're painting a lot of illusion. You could have a son to this person. This person could have multiple children to multiple people. Somebody here could be wearing a flannel. Gemma, gem, something about that. Gem, Gemma. You could have just bought something, Scorpio, a protection necklace, a protection crystal. A brand new soulmate's coming in, two of cups here, but you have to get out of your mind. What spirit wants you to know is there's a lot of clarity and a lot of big changes coming, but this toxic person that has addictions and that have hurt you is coming on back around, and you, you got to be ready for them. Some of you here, they're, what, what secrets are they keeping? They're they're hiding something. Your, your intuition's telling you everything. You're getting a lot of messages here from your higher self. You're getting a lot of messages from the divine. You're being asked to soul search. This person could have ghosted you, fell off all of a sudden, didn't give you any explanation on why they are watching, finding a lot of clarity. They could be a Pisces or a Virgo. They seem to have something to say to you. They seem to want to tell you something, Scorpio. Most likely it's that they're sorry or, or something here. There's something they want to say. They have a lot to say. They may have sent you a message and you didn't even realize it. Can we take things slow? I'm guarded. I will be reaching out soon. I'm frustrated with myself. I'm trying to impress you and you feel like home to me. I've been trying to impress you. I've been trying to act like I don't care. I'm really frustrated. I'm going to reach out soon. They may be really guarded. You may be very guarded because of whatever they've done. Um, some of you, this person's going to come back in and just say, hey, how are you? Like they didn't ghost you like you haven't been going through hell. It's going to be your choice. There is a new soul connection right around the corner. Someone you're going to have a lot of chemistry with, but there's also some drama to come. What is this drama? Tell me what this drama is with this person, please. What is this drama? Spirit wants you to know, so you're ready for this. Endings, breakup, divorce. Something could be happening within your home. Some, there could be a lot of drama when you meet this marriage material, this person that, that's going to be a really good catch. There, there could be some drama around that. You've been abstinent. You're about to meet somebody who's going to be fully engaged and only want you. Some of you, this person um, that puts you through all of this left you for a third party and um, the drama is that's ending. There's about to be a big blow up with this karmic. And then they're going to come back in expecting you to welcome them home with open arms. But you may have you may meet someone new. There's going to be some drama around you meeting a new person. 
some of you that are in a relationship still, there may be a breakup to come, some kind of blowout to come, Scorpio. You've been in hangman about it, not knowing which way to go. You've invested a lot of time, energy, and effort. You're hoping things get better, but this person is in the devil energy, and you know there is another lover, and something may happen here. So spirit wants you to protect yourself. You could have white skin. They could have dark or vice versa. Somebody here could have be a masculine energy with longer hair. Gemini. Aquarius, Capricorn, someone could have a tattoo on their chest. There's some drama to come that the divine is asking you to get ready for. Be ready. What is the angel number we can give them to end out the reading here, please, spirit? What is the angel number message? Some of you have a secret admirer around you, and this person's going to make their self known, and they are marriage material. They're going to be fully focused on you. Angel number 111, wish come true. Angel number 1818, 18, willpower, striving, prosperity, courage, luck, self-realization, manifestation, taking action. You're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news and experience new opportunities or an exciting new acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate, baby. Do you hear me? You have some manifestation coming in or some brand new soul connection that is going to be so beautiful and so easy and so effortless that you're, you're going to be in for a, a big surprise. Wow. Significant events are in the cards for you. You will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences. The right people and resources will be put in your path. An excellent proposal or a change is coming up. You are destined for greatness. Destined here, Scorpio. There's something fate is bringing into your life. Some of you, it may be this person with toxic addictions coming back. Maybe that's your wish. But for most of you, your wish is being able to break free of this connection and move forward and meet somebody who is loving and only wants you, is only focused on you. And that is what you're going to get. Some of you are manifesting a new home, uh, manifesting a new apartment, a new job. You're going to meet the right people, be at the right places at the right time, my loves. I claim spirit. Be on the lookout for 111 and angel number 1818. 18. It will be a message that, that this reading had a significant messages in it for you. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed Tuesday ever and you stay in the highest vibe you can. Show gratitude to the divine. Get outside and get some fresh air and, and go out there and live your best life. Love and light.